Ubiest of the Tubiest. The best YouTube subscribers on the planet. That's you. And I'm 50 plus. Thank you all for clicking on this video. Hope I'm going to be able to give you guys some good and useful information. I, I try not to make videos unless I have something positive for you guys to, to uh, grasp hold to. Otherwise, I don't want to like to waste your time, okay? That being said, I don't put out videos every day. And because I don't, YouTube's algorithms don't really push my stuff up to the top. Unless you guys give me that thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. That really helps out the channel. And it, it uh, that's... YouTube know that uh, although I'm not putting out videos all the time just to be yapping, that you guys do value the content. And I really do appreciate when you guys do that, okay? Um, so, as you can tell, and I'm in a hotel room. I'm, I'm making several videos in the same day, by the way. I'm going to talk to you really quick about the breakdown type of situation. I'm in this hotel because my truck's in the shop, okay? But uh, if you guys come into Melton and... and you know, reach out to me if you have any questions. That, that's I don't answer in a video, okay? And I'll answer them for you to help you out to make that decision to come aboard. Listen, <clears throat> this isn't a, and I, I'm going to be honest with you. I always shoot you guys straight, okay? It isn't it isn't a uh, a uh, you know a rare situation that these breakdowns are are handled the way. This, this, I'm going to, to describe to you, okay? When I mean that by uh, organized companies with resources, or I'm going to do it about the same, okay? So, um, I got a check engine light on my truck, and um, uh, I, I knew what it means when it was displaying what it was displaying, okay? And uh, and I know what was next, which means the truck is going to derate. Derate means you won't get full power, full throttle, and you're going to just be in like emergency mode where the, uh, uh, if you have a vehicle, a car, it would be called limp mode, where the, the vehicle will only give you enough momentum to get you out of harm's way, basically pulling off the highway, no more than like four or five mile an hour, okay? Not good in a truck that's pulling uh and I was uh, 79,780 pounds gross. So, yeah, five miles an hour with that is not good. Okay. So, <clears throat> anyways, what ends up happening is if you're uh, with Melton, you're going to, uh, of course, pull over to a safe spot. Uh, and you're going to send a macro 18. A macro 18 is your breakdown macro okay macro one it's the first thing you do at a sh when in, in, a, in a load if they when you when you're dispatched the load the first part of that load is you're gonna have to arrive at the shipper to pick the load up right so the first macro is arrive at the shipper if that's the first macro what number do you think that macro is gonna be one because it's first right and then the second macro you're going to send, you're going to send once the product is on the trailer, all of it, they're done, and you have the paperwork in your hand, you are loaded. The truck's loaded. So being loaded is the second thing that goes on with the load, which means you're going to send a macro. That's right. Macro two. You guessed it, right? So the next thing that's going to happen is uh, you're going to secure the load, tarp it, whatever you're going to do, and you're going to get ready to leave. But before you get ready to leave, you're going to send a rolling call because you're about to roll. That rolling call, however, is the number 12. So you make sure you remember these things. I'm giving you guys some pre-coming to orientation information right here. And... Um, if your load has multiple stops, you're going to use macro three when you arrive at your first stop. Macro four when you leave the first stop. Macro three when you arrive at the second stop. 
Metro 4 when you, li when you leave the second stop. And on and on and on and on until you get to the last stop. And at the last stop, you're going to send a 5 because you says you arrive at the cosign E. Why does it say cosign E? I don't know. It should say final because it would be easier, right? I don't know. It just seems like it would. So you have to finally put a 5 and then... Six is your empty at the final end. You send that six, they send you another load. Super easy, right? It's everything in this job. It's pretty basic. You just have to keep open mind and do it. Okay? So we talked about a few macros. This ain't a macro video. It's, you know, it's for something else. But, you know, I want to take that opportunity to spit out a little bit of information. Plus, you guys can speed pass it if you don't want to hit the macros. Anyways, um... The, the uh, another macro that we use is, is the macro 18. Okay, and the 18 is the breakdown macro. It's gonna, you're gonna put some basic information in there. It's really easy, just fill in the blanks. And uh, you basically tell them what's going on. Um, if your truck has a check engine light and you're sending the Mac 18 and the truck is still running, don't shut it off. Leave the truck idling and send that Mac 18. Um, then, then what's going to happen is uh, outside repair is going to get that that uh, macro. You will also use your resources. Uh, um, you're going to call outside repair. They're going to look and say, "Oh yeah, I got your macro here." Then they're going to respond to that macro with who you're speaking to. Okay, so you have a record of, they're going to keep a record of it. It's in macros that you've done what you're supposed to do and that they're done what they're supposed to do. And uh, and if it's got a check engine light, they can actually go online and read that code. They can talk to your truck. That being said, side note, don't do anything with that truck that you don't want the company to know. Okay? So don't spend the night parked at the, you know, at the booby bar. Because they know where you're at, man. It's th that truck costs $170,000 plus a trailer, plus, you know, half a million dollars in freight. You think they know where that stuff is at all the time, every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you disconnect that trailer from the truck and trailer and pull out from under that truck, you think they don't know that? Of course they know. They know exactly when you dropped it and where you dropped that trailer. As soon as you disconnect. Don't do anything that you know you're not supposed to do, okay? That's the bottom line. Because they can see everything. They got you, bro. Come on now. All right, so what's going to happen then, um, They will. the outside repair is going to instruct you on what to do. They'll instruct, if you say you got a flat tire, then they'll instruct you what to do. You're basically going to sit there, you know, make sure that you're in a safe spot. If you get a flat, make sure you pull over to it. Let's say you're the guy that's got to change that flat, Okay. Um, but you want to change that flat in the spot where you stopped or can you pull off the interstate? Where it's safer for you, the cars that are driving past and the guy that's coming to help you with that tire. Okay. Um, in our case, it was a check engine light. And um, with that, uh, with the check engine light, they can read that code. Then they'll, they'll, they'll let you know what to do, tell you where to take it. If they believe that it, it can be driven, or they'll have a tow truck come out and and and, uh, and tow you, but uh, they'll also arrange for you to uh, you know stay in a hotel. They're not gonna get you you know you know rat's tail you know roach tail. No, <laughs> they're gonna get you someplace decent. You know they don't deal with like you know one star like half star hotels. You know zero star hotel. No. Okay, they're gonna put you somewhere decent. Okay, now don't think that you're going to Taj Mahal while you get your truck serviced, but you are gonna stay somewhere decent. And um, um, fortunately for for you, Melton drivers, if you have a, uh, a Kenworth, um, let's just say your, your truck shouldn't be in a shop. Uh, no, no longer than, than absolute necessary. Let's just say that, okay? So, um, I brought my truck in uh, yesterday, and it was uh, mid-morning before noon, and 
all oh, right afternoon I believe um, by the time we left and they have the part and the part is being installed today fairly certain that tomorrow morning I'll be able to go pick up my truck and start burning some fuel not bad that procedure that I just talked to you about is kind of a common type of situation where you call outside repair um, and then you know your problems become someone else's problems and they just deal with it for you it's that simple now um, when I say it, that that's a common way to handle things I'm talking about companies that has resources not all of them do I mean some of them are pretty small they don't have these type of resources where you can call a number and the person on the other end just goes okay I got you and then they handle everything and they actually handle it I'm all, I'm, what I'm saying is you call and you say um, I need uh, to take my truck to the shop or they got they tell you we're gonna see you to the shop they're gonna tell you we're gonna see you to the shop then we're gonna put you in a, in a hotel and we're gonna send you an uber link to come pick you up when you're ready to go to the hotel and they do it all and there's no balls dropped okay that's what I'm saying not you know well I work for this company they got 10 trucks and you know they, they pay me just insane money and my truck broke down I gotta walk to the hotel with all my bags and then pay for the hotel myself and this hotel got big bugs and I got to share it with a hobo I don't know man okay all I can tell you is is what I'm experiencing uh, with with Melton and uh, listen prime example okay um, I had a few breakdowns when I was at my previous company Swift okay Swift got like a trillion trucks. I mean, they just absolutely a massive, massive, massive company. You know, 25,000 trucks or something like that. And, you know, Melton is, you know, a lot less than that. It's got like 1,200 or something like that. The procedures between uh, Swift you know, a quadrillion dollar company and, and melting a very, very great. What's the update on your truck? I'm sorry, my, my driver leader just sent me a message. I'm reading it on my phone. Um, and I've had a breakdown with Swift. I had a breakdown at, at Melton. And let me tell y'all guys this, the, 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 the way that it was handled was, was the exact same. So a company super, super huge, mega huge, and, and Melton, not a mom and poppy place, not really small, but not gigantic either. Same resources, same thing. Just saying. You know, some of these things you might want to take into consideration when you're choosing a, a company. Because not, it's not going to always be, um, you know, cotton candy, okay? Things happen. These are, these, this, my truck has uh, 239,000 miles on it. And... You know, I've had very, very, very minimal issues with that truck. So, you know, let's let you guys know. Now, I done rambled on for 15 minutes, so this is, I'm gonna put up another video about what I actually was going to talk to you guys about, and that is the, uh, I was talking to you guys about three different options with, with Melton. You can do uh, OTR, I talked about in the first video, regional, which I talked about in the second video, and this one was going to be uh, about the E-Fleet. I'll put that in the next video, okay? And uh, because I can use this one for a, a breakdown, what would happen if your truck broke down? Um, you know, when you're working for Melton, what, what, what to expect? Expect that they're gonna take care of it with, with, with minimal effort from you. I mean minimal, okay? And then it's gonna be handled right, and it's gonna be handled promptly okay so i hope that helps you guys out so please help me out thumb up this video it's i don't put out a bunch of trash to keep the algorithms going so i need y'all to do this so if i got like you know 500 views and only like 30 thumbs up man that means a whole bunch of people watch the video and you know didn't even take the time to touch, touch that little button underneath it's, that goes a long ways so anytime you guys watch any channel, if the videos that you're watching gives you any entertainment or um, useful information, 
like those videos for those those uh, those uh, content makers, man. It's a it's it means a lot. It really does. Okay. So I appreciate you. Till I see you again. I hope this one helped you out. Deliver undistracted, and here's your boob. <laughs>